I think we were just surprised um, to hear something like that, that it might get taken over. My question is, what does that exactly mean? That's how many parents at the Sac City Unified School District feel about talks of a state takeover. Christopher Saldana says he got an email explaining what this would all mean, but he still has a lot of questions. It's made mention that they were falling short on funds and that it would possibly be turned over to the state to run. Saldana is actively involved with his son's school and explains this is how a lot of parents feel about the budget crisis. We've asked, um, the school administration and gotten no answers. We had our parent-teacher group meeting yesterday and um, asked there and parent-teacher group basically same thing, had uh, gotten the email but nothing further. With things just sort of being a huge question mark right now, we are worried. We want to make sure that our school can function um, in the way that it needs to and that our students are getting the services that they need. The district explained to parents that a takeover would mean less money to spend on students, no more local control, meaning the school board would lose its authority to make decisions. Experts with the state's fiscal crisis and management assistant team add it's taken other California school districts up to 10 years or more to recover. It's, it's an interesting thing and, and it's kind of scary, so we'll see what happens. In the meantime, officials are encouraging parents to sign up for budget alerts on its website so they can stay up to date with their latest efforts to prevent a state takeover. In Sacramento, Daniela Pardo, ABC 10 News.